All right, so you can see we trimmed up this basket. It's looking really nice. And of course, right now, I wanna start gathering with it and I wanna put it to use. So right back down into this canyon area, we have quite a bit of mullein that I saw last year and we should have some coming up this year. Mullein is an incredibly powerful medicine, especially when you smoke it. When you smoke it, it opens up your airways, it opens up your lungs. It's just a great plant to use and a great plant to know about. So I'm gonna start off with gathering some of that and then we'll start gathering some heavier items like pipestone. So we'll go ahead and go down there right now, see what we can't find. Yeah, so right down by this little creek, we have uh, quite a bit of mullein. Now what I do is I gather the young leaves and then I wash them off and let them dry again just because of all the, the dust and the debris out here. And I don't want to strip the whole plant. So we'll keep on looking around for more. And we have more mullein. Just a few off of this plant. Well, I have a mullein plant right next to me, but you can see what we have here. This is young yarrow. And this is an incredibly powerful medicine. So I'm going to gather some of this as well. That should be good. All right, so as you can see in this field behind me, next to this little creek here, we have a ton of mullein. We have the dry stalks that work excellent for primitive fire, specifically the hand drill. But again, I'm after medicine and I want those young basil rosettes. So it's important when you gather anything that you're gonna use internally or externally as a wild food or a medicine, you gather far enough away from human activity just because you don't want to risk the chance of getting sick or getting ill. So I'm going to go ahead and continue on in my search. I'm going to gather a whole bunch more until my basket is full and I'll be back with you. So here's our mullein. You can see we have quite a bit of it and this will last me a good while so I don't want to take any more than I need. I'm gonna now transfer this into a different basket to where I can start preparing it. But in the meanwhile, we'll head off to a different location and start gathering that pipestone. All right, so here's our pipestone and you can see that this travels in veins. This is very typical of Arizona pipestone. You'll just see these veins traveling for a couple miles and it starts off high and this vein just goes right down into the earth even even past what you're seeing here uh, you want the stuff behind the surface so I've already started to chip this out and in through here this is all good pipestone and this is all good pipestone but you can see all around me we have a lot of weathered pipestone and this is the stuff you want to stay away from the reason why there's so much pipestone out here is because years ago, miners came out, they stuck dynamite in the surface and they blew all the pipestone out and it just got everywhere. So you want to avoid the stuff on the surface, like I said, because it's too weathered and you can't shape it out on a piece of sandstone or let alone carve it. So I've been, again, chipping away at this with shovels, uh, picks, so forth and so on, crowbars. It takes quite a bit to get this stuff out of the earth. And all this stuff on the ground is good stuff. So this is a really nice piece of pipestone and I'll just load up my basket until this is completely full. And this piece will make a really nice necklace pendant. Even a piece for a quiver.
All right, so here is the basket full of pipe stone. The basket is holding together real nice. No stitches are popping out. And this is really the true test. Load this up with some weight and see how much weight this thing can carry. I also like to feel the sides, feel the bottom to see if there's any give and there's none at all. So this is going to hold up for quite some time. As far as the pipe stone, again, we just have some really nice pure pieces, a lot of different colors in it. So this will make some nice jewelry pendants.